Black history may be taught differently in classrooms across the Commonwealth. Tonight in Richmond, a discussion was held on how to improve what teachers share with students. Matthew Fultz was at the forum and he shares tonight what some people think might be solutions. Thank you for joining us to share your thoughts about how best to improve history standards and the teaching of black history in Virginia. The goal here tonight is to improve the way black history is taught in schools across the Commonwealth. This is bigger than just a history lesson. People packed inside the Black History Museum and Cultural Center to hear from a diverse panel of community members. They're here to dig deeper into what's taught in Virginia classrooms. Creation of new content is imperative and also the implementation of 21st century innovative practices like virtual reality. We need to go back and recapture the goodness and the greatness of the African before they got to America. These ideas will soon be passed along to the African American History Education Commission, a group established by Governor Northam last year. Last but certainly not least, the public also voiced their opinions during Wednesday night's forum. It is shameful that our public education doesn't do a more um, inclusive job. Some people proclaiming that teachers need to learn more about the students' backgrounds. Taking a course in how to be a teacher, a just teacher, that means no matter what classroom you're in, you know how to treat everybody's child. Everyone here, to together, sure hoping to find a solution in Richmond that will also help school districts across the country. Virginia has the opportunity to get it right this time, to set the bar higher for the nation, and I think that we need to take this opportunity to do it right. Now the commission will take all the comments heard at each public hearing, including tonight, and file a report no later than July 1st. The next public hearing will be February 18th. Working for you tonight in Richmond, I'm Matthew Foltz, CBS 6 News. Thank you.